It's rewarding and it's always very interesting. You never know what you're going to come across each night. Um, might be doing hospital duty or work in a housing unit, um, maybe assisting someone who, who's on suicide precaution. You just never know um, what's going to go down in the jail. As a sergeant, I keep track of everybody's daily accomplishments, um, daily tasks, and things assigned to them. And I nominated Deputy Cinco uh, because over the past couple of years, she's went above and beyond uh, doing extra duties. Nobody's asked her to do it. Uh, she finds a problem, she fixes it. Anywhere you are, there's always room for new ideas and new creativity. And as, from a creative background, I'm always thinking of new things like how can we improve safety, control, security. It can be through signage, promoting a new training program, or um, maybe evaluating keys. Hey, maybe this key is giving us a little bit of trouble today. Some of the paperwork that we do, if there's a new, new format to do it better, to enhance things. A lot of inmates, especially females, come in and they may not be able to climb up to a top bed and so we need to assign them a lower level bed. So I was looking at improving ways of um, assigning them you know, a lower bed versus a top bed. I'm like, oh, maybe there's some um, discrepancy versus uh, how they're labeled. Um, so I started making a chart of how all the beds in the whole facility, I went through every single bed, went in each cell and said this is A, B, C and this is how it's numbered. And then I made a chart from a graphic design background and then I submitted that. And then later we needed an official bed capacity for the ACA and so they were able to use that to get an official number and then I was able to make a full-on proposal of to have maybe a different way to label the bedding. Just seeing her you know grow as a correctional officer she's uh, tried to implement the tablets for our housing units, uh, the wireless tablets. Uh, we've actually started doing that as well so she's come up with a lot of different programs for us to do. Sometimes things are very unconventional and they're like, wait a minute, we never thought of that before. Um, but I like to present it, hey, you know, maybe you do or don't use this idea, but my brain's going to always be thinking of new things and I'll submit them and see, see if you're willing to go with it. Julie is the type of person that she's gone overseas and done a lot of mission work over there and she'll, it's not above her to, to sleep outside for days or weeks on end and just help out in whatever community she can. She is a phenomenal correctional officer and not only that, she's also a phenomenal person. So it's a great mix of both. Whenever I see inmates, especially when they're getting ready to be released, I'm like, what are you going to do next? What's your next step? You know, are you going to try to um, get off of drugs? Are you going to try to find a better job? So always helping them in whatever capacity I best can. I want to, always wanted to help people. I love helping people try to get back on their feet, people that are struggling. Um, and here's a great place, because this, in this place, people are having some of the hardest times of their life. They're at their lowest. And what a better way to encourage them, a place to encourage them where other people can't reach them. First, I'd like to thank the Florida Sheriff's Association for recognizing Deputy Cinco for her outstanding performance throughout the year. And congratulations to you, Julie. It's such an honor to represent the men and women of our organization and correctional officers throughout the state. What's unique about this selection is it's not based upon one incident, but rather your performance throughout the year. As Sheriff Esslinger has challenged all members of the organization to look at ways that we can increase the quality of life by looking at strategies to address problems. You look at crime as a symptom of a larger problem and develop solutions to address those, ultimately minimizing the recidivism. Your altruism is not confined to the walls of the correction facility. You're involved with our faith-based community and simply do things to make our neighborhoods a safer place. Corrections occupation is difficult, as you know, and we are all tremendously proud of your accomplishments. So on behalf of Sheriff Esslinger, all the members of this organization and our community, we congratulate you. Job well done.